planning programs that will be implemented under the Coconut Farmers and Industry Development Plan are the construction of facilities that will be called Shared Processing Facility for the composite products from coconut. As stated by the law, 10% of the yearly allocation from the Coconut Trust Fund will be allocated for the construction and distribution of said facilities. This program aims to increase the value of coconut in the local and international markets. The Philippine Center for Post-Harvest Development and Mechanization, along with the Philippine Coconut Authority, will lead the implementation of the program's activities along with the cooperation of other government agencies, such as the DPWH, DTI, CDA, ATI, TESDA, BAE, NDA, HVCDP, DBP and LBP, and DOST. These agencies will be preparing their work and financial plan for every year of the program's implementation. Also, supervising the acquisition and installation of the corresponding machinery and equipment. Above all, it is the duty of the government to properly use the funds and prepare and submit corresponding reports according to the implementation of various projects. The shared processing facilities are expected to open up businesses based in each community that apply practical solutions in the processing system toward the development of the local coconut industry. In addition to that, this program also includes the processing of various agricultural products, such as coffee, cacao, and livestock. The facilities will have appropriate and quality machines and equipment based on the proposal or needs of its beneficiaries. Said facility consists of building equipment and processing machinery, storage facilities, hauling and transportation vehicles, coconut harvesting equipment, basic testing instruments, and other auxiliary equipment for processing. Some of the examples of processing facilities that will be established are as follows. Integrated white copper centrals, copper buying stations, integrated coconut processing centers, cocosat based processing facilities, cocoa choir processing, coconut shell charcoal granulating plant, Cocoa Food Center, Integrated Processing Facilities for Buco, Cacao, and Coffee Processing Centers, Dairy Milk and Livestock-Based Processing Centers, and Farm Service Crews. In general, the objective of the program is to contribute to increasing the income of farmers by processing and adding value to their products. To kick off the first year of this program, 500 million pesos is allocated to finance the installation of suitable machinery and other basic equipment required to establish the facilities. The target groups of the proponents and beneficiaries of the program are the cooperatives of coconut growers. If there's none, however, the local governments of identified towns with extensive coconut production will be targeted. However, it is recommended that these LGUs create local councils of small farmers so that they will be provided with mechanisms for consultation and active participation. 